In the meantime, we have uh, PNM activist Barry Garcia, who is no stranger to the Observer. Pleasant good evening to you, Mr. Garcia. Uh, pleasant good evening to Mikey. Nice to hear your voice, man. <laughs> Thank you. Same here. Um, the question yeah. this evening is, uh, do you believe that the Prime Minister's response today justified his decision not to call the date for the local government election? Well, what, what, uh, there is no... Um, there is no concern over the date of the election is just that the opposition is making a lot of a, a lot of noise. The Privy Council has ruled that it was wrong to post, to postpone the election. But if you throw back a little bit back, Mr. Manning postponed local elections for three years straight. And he used the representation of the People's Act and he used the the, the, the constitution. He abided to the Constitution. The Privy Council also said that no Constitution was breached or broken. Okay? And therefore, the Prime Minister has ample time to call the election. He doesn't have to call it today. That is just a lot of um, unnecessary political noise. Yeah, but, but what, what says you when you have one of the law lords weighing in on this ruling and saying that it was a matter of depriving the citizens? who are the main stakeholders of their constitutional rights, and by doing so, you take away having a healthy democracy. But, I, but, that, but that could be said, that could be, that could be interpreted different ways. That can be interpreted different ways. But that there is time still, the election will be called. It will be called soon enough, and I hope all parties are prepared, and I hope all parties will contest, okay? And we will have a nice face and... and, 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 and Yes, contests all in the equality of, the, of, of, of each and every one. We need representation on the ground. We need to have proper councillors on the ground. We don't want, we don't want councillors to be to be to be like if they're going to a party and they're in business about people. We want councillors who will who will address the purchases, who will address the the regional the regional um, districts like Samuel Sankai, a very good councillor, very good councillor. You have a next one I could call Quasi. We see Antoine, very good councillor. I could call a councillor down here in San Fernando, called Robert Paris, very good councillor and so on. Then there's um, Brianna Fortune in Point Forte, very good councillor. You have Small from in Barataria, very good councillor. So you, you have a number, you have Nicole Young in Belmont, good councillor, always on the ground with the people, always trying to get things done, always want to know what is the people's concern, what are the fears, what it is bothering them and all of that. Participating in every funeral, participating in every 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 function the villages have, you need councillors like that. You need people who will participate into the politics and bring a greater responsibility and a greater representation to Trinidad and Tobago on both sides of the coin. It have a lot of slackness is going in UNC. It have a lot of slackness is going in PM, and you have to correct those things. We need representation. We need. Proper, proper, proper representation, and we need to pick the right candidates. May the best team win, may the best party win. Whoever wins, we need proper representation. Yeah, but but at this point in time, do you believe that this is not just going to be one, a, a, just another local government election? I mean, it seems to be very important. There are people who uh, seem to be suffering from political fatigue. They feel beaten down to the point that, listen, let this thing happen and let it happen now and get it over with. Uh, but you well, go ahead. But if they feel political fatigue, why did they resign? If they're feeling politically weary and they want to come out and resign and go away, they have people who want to come up and serve. And when you say I'm that, but, but let me ask you, thing, Mikey. right? But when you say that, do you say this across the board? I mean, because you you mentioned the names of some of the councillors, and I think these are people that you would personally interact with and find that they're efficient, uh, they're getting the job done, uh, they're people oriented. But what about those who don't come across? Uh, you know, who are able to access? They're not accessible, uh, who are not going beyond the call for their burgesses. Uh, what then? I mean, if, if we are deprived, if we are deprived of moving them, then, then just exactly what kind of democracy are we having here in Trinidad? And, and, then, and that's my point, Mike. We, have, we got to move them. We got to move them. We got to get rid of them because they are not serving any purpose. We need people who are people oriented. For instance, I, I was toying with the. With the, with the with the idea at one time, and this may sound like a joke to you, 
But you, you, my Kiki, you will make a good counselor in the area because you're always in touch with people. You always want to find out what are the concerns. All right, when the Leslie will make a good, I will make a good counselor in the area. Okay. And this is what it's about because you have to be this is excellent. Mr. Manning once said, if you are into politics, it is for the love of the people. Yeah. He said that is what politics is about. It is the love of the people. He said politics is not for you to get rich, it's not for you to get wealthy, it is for you to take care of the people. And and I agree with you a hundred percent. It's to deliver, it is to serve. And it is to go beyond the call of duty to understand that you are the first line of service as a counselor. Now, that there, there, may be some, right, there may be some people who don't read the fine print, and at the end of the day, uh, it's frustrating for the Burgesses. But at the end of it all, if something is so important, and you yourself personally deem it to be important, why do many citizens believe that we are being deprived of actually going out there and make this change? Let me, let me explain this to you. The Prime Minister will call the election. The Prime Minister has to call the election, and the Prime Minister will call the election. Okay? There is no immediate rush to the election, but the election will be called this year. It will be called in due time, and people will go and exercise their political franchise. Whoever will, may the best team win. Okay? Those persons that are feeling deprived, soon come they would not be deprived any longer and to those folks who you believe are not pulling their weight and are not not delivering to the people what would be your message to them get rid of them get the hell out we have no time to waste this is about service to people on both sides of the coin i don't want to hear nothing about i ain't getting funding they're getting funding and they're using it for the wrong thing Okay. But and, and when you when you talk about the fact of funding, uh, there are those who would say, listen, because I may not be associated with the current administration, funding for me doesn't come as accessible as others. I don't have the resources, I don't have the machinery. Uh, basically we're being starved in order to go out there and serve the Burgesses. How do we put an end to that? Because there's still All this right. feeling no hold on, there's still this feeling that, you know, these are not my people. Um, they usually don't vote for me. Do I reach out to them in, in the case of flooding, a natural disaster? How do I assist them as far as getting the infrastructure that they need? When are we going to see that sort of political maturity that whether you voted for me or not, I have to serve you? Okay. Give me an example. And I'm going to call his name. Chairman Anil Jutara. Okay? He gets funding. He wants to do things for the community. He wants to bring up, bring Sandy Grandi up to a level. And his own party members will be fighting him down. His own party members will be voting against these things. And he's a frustrated man. Okay? So therefore, it's not a matter of funding, you know, it's what are you there for? Are you there to serve the people or are you there to serve your own interests? And, and basically, you are saying that the time has come for us to draw that line in the sand and say, listen, this is what is going to be. If you are here, if I am your counselor, regardless of how you may think of me or my political affiliation or perhaps who you wanted didn't win, I still have a duty to serve you as best as possible. Precisely, mighty. Precisely. And that is why I want to give Dr. Munilal praises. Dr. Munilal is in opposition. But he serve his constituents. Yeah. Let, he let, advocate on his heart, behalf of his constituents. Let, let me ask you this. It's a bit of a touchy subject here, but the issue of race always seems to rear its head around this time. And, and that in itself is going to hinder the maturity that we need to move forward. If basically it's about serving the people regardless of what, getting the resources to the corporation, whether they're affiliated with you or not. But yet still, that race card seems to be playing time and time again. What say you on that issue? Well, I, long, I will tell you something. I long for the days of Pastor Pandy and Patrick Manning where the races were well united. Eh? And I find that the race talk goes a little too far. 
Okay? And the race talk is hindering the progress of Trinidad and Tobago. And the racism is going too far on both sides of the coin. Because it have, if you were African and you joined the UNC, the C as a PNM. And if you are Indian and you join the PNM, the C as a UNC. And that has to stop. That has to stop. Right. Okay? And we have to be able to work with each other. But how come Crown Carnival time it don't have no race? How come around the, the Christmas time it don't have no race? How come the Wali time it don't have no race? How come around Eden Barak it don't have no race? Everybody uniting. Why can't we unite in the politics? And I believe the politicians are, is the ones that are responsible for having it so. Thank you. Barry, I want to thank you so much for taking time out to link with us. We will be speaking with you periodically. Um, Mike, Mike, it's a pleasure being on your show. And you could call on me anytime to give up to give up a proper view on things. Thank you so much.